Hey, it's Brian from brianwright732.com and fitin.com, P-H-I-T-I-N.com. So I have something that is pissing me off all the time. I keep going on. I'm just doing my homework, trying to see what's going on in the industry, who's consulting, promoting, doing whatever. And I keep running into these videos. The, the video of, you know, I'm going to help you get 100 leads in 24 hours. I'm going to help you make a million dollars a month. You know, your after school program that you won't have to run, that somebody else is going to do it for you, that's going to make, you know, $100,000 a day and you're going to be the talk of the town. The one thing I never hear, and it drives me nuts, is I never hear about the value that we're providing for the consumer, ever. It's never, look, be good at what you do, communicate, storytell, so that people understand what it is you do and how it's going to benefit them. It's always me, 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 me. Now, is that a weakness that the majority of us have that we're trying to be money hungry? Maybe, but I don't. I don't think anyone gets involved in a service industry just to make money. I think that when we start out in a service industry, service is what gets us off. Service is why we got involved in the business because we like providing service to people, having the ability to make a living off of it. That's that's the icing on the cake. It's not necessarily the point. At some point, you identify with the fact that you have a skill of communicating or providing something that was good for people, and you got so enthused about that that you created a business around it, or you got into a business that you admired because of what it did. And then along the way, you had to pay bills, and you get broken down, and then you start thinking about, you know, how am I going to acquire? And then a lot of us at some point get into the mindset of, well, I got into it to serve people and I did and I struggled and I sacrificed. So it's now time for me to get mine. And now you flipped. So instead of serving people, now you're just serving yourself because you think you deserve it because you sacrificed before for a whole different group of people to help them out. And do you understand how twisted we're getting in this? So if you are 35 plus, You've been in the industry for a while. You know, you felt like in your younger years, you know, you broke your body, you gave up a lot of time, you did all this stuff. Still, I need you to understand, no matter what you did, no matter what you won, what you did, whatever, no one owes you anything. No one owes you a thing. So all these assholes that are online right now pitching you these ideas of how you're going to make a million dollars doing some kind of thing that you really don't have to do much because basically it's owed to you for what you did when you were younger. It's all bullshit. The only thing you need to focus on is the value. What is the value of the service you provide for the people that you're going to be working with? You can create an after-school program. You can create adult programs, self-defense programs, weight loss programs, transformation programs. You can create anything you want to make money. But the number one thing is providing a value, period. That's it. Everything is value. So. The value part, number one, you have to have skills. If you don't have skills, if you're not a talented individual, you're not going to have anything to provide people. So no matter what some asshole tells you online that he's going to sell you some idea that's going to be able to make you whatever, it's all crap if you don't have skills and talents. If you don't have talent, you're worthless. If you don't have skills, you're worthless. You may need to go work for somebody. I hate to be blunt about it. But that's just the nature of it. But if you've been doing this a while, I'm sure you have skills and talents. You need to fall back on them instead of relying on these scam assholes that are pitching you. I'm on this group on Facebook. I'm basically trolling at this point because I'm just following and seeing what's up. And if I see one more time some jackass talk about, you know, it's your mindset, it's your systems, it's your Facebook marketing. Okay, guys. You've got to have all these things. I get it. But the secret to your success is not based on that. The secret to your success is the foundation of it all. It's A, talent and skills. And then B, do you really care about the people that you're trying to service? If you've got those two things and you're willing to work hard, you'll figure the rest of it out. All right, so I take a quick pause because uh, my son hopped in here. Yeah. There he is. He came to visit me, so I got to clean up my language for the rest of this. All right, so I'm just going to get back to the main point, guys. Stop falling for the guys that are sitting there making tons of money off of your insecurities or 
I guess insecurity is the word I'm going to go with at this point. But when you start getting in that mindset that you think people owe you so that you're going to do these systems, these scam ideas, and you're going to make a million dollars, it's not going anywhere. All right? The, the only thing you can do is maintain your value by staying in touch with your skill sets, understanding your talents, and providing the highest level of customer service possible. The marketing and the rest of it, you can figure all that out. But the base concept, skills, talents, desire to help people, connecting that all, that's where it comes from. All right, my son needs my attention. I got to go.